As most students already know, Nico has taken yet another step forward technologically, and that step is Wi-Fi. See, the Wi-Fi's been here actually for about seven years now, but in a very limited space. This latest round of what is 25 new access points, 21 here, and four new ones at Gold, uh, just started really, we started talking about it last year, but we really just got those. Now it's been about two months since they first put them in, and they've been active for just a couple of weeks where you can get on them and use them pretty regularly. The new system is obviously a huge step forward in terms of how Nico is progressing. But the real question is, what has the response been like? Pretty good because they're still kind of limited. It's a little slow. Like we've had a couple of groups of teachers go down a hallway and bring like 15 laptops. And that'll slow them down a little bit. They're, they're pretty excited about them because it does give them some tools, you know, um, like an iPad or something like that that they can actually take and use if they're within that range. The Wi-Fi at Nico is... Um really useful. I've used it with, like, with my laptop. I've brought it here. Um, it's easier access to the internet so you can like don't have to use it like a school computer. As useful as it already is, it will still be a while before it becomes strong enough to be used in class. Now the, so limited right now, if you go to the far end of a hallway, you're probably not going to get a good signal or any signal at all. It's probably going to be a little while before we're able to get it for eventually the whole school's Wi-Fi. With this new addition of Wi-Fi in the halls, who knows what technology could be coming here in the next few years. For Wildcat Weekly, I'm Jack Cordy.